you want to go. One, one frame away. Yep, make sure to follow him on Twitter and Ready? on Facebook. Go! And it actually looks like we're getting to uh, match him up. I'm not sure who these players are quite yet. I know one of the gentlemen because he actually did provide a game view this morning when we were searching for that. But strange enough, but Peach does. That's something we see very, very often. But I think Peach has had a huge spike in popularity since yeah. Armada. Absolutely. Ever, ever since Genesis, I believe a lot of Peach players just started believing, you know, hey, we can, we can do it. We can actually make it. And the Peach, the Peach. He's already taking the first stock here. So the Peach Dittos, it's going to be a bit slow paced, but it's still actually a really, really interesting match. You're going to see both both of them vying for positioning. Um, it's all about trying to get those floats out. If they're at a safe distance, you're going to see either of them pull out a turnip so that they can close the distance between the other one. Oh my goodness, this Peach is playing catch with herself. And I don't know if that was intentional, completely missing the turnip, and after conditioning and catching turnip, throwing it back, catching the turnip, throwing it back, so on and so forth, time and time again. And then just throwing a nair out in the other Peach's face. Brady's doing a pretty solid job. Brady's the one that actually provided the Peach to sit in on stage. Stage left. And Skeeter right now, currently, oh, that was such a smart down tilt by Birdie. Wow. But yeah, Skeeter currently at two stocks, 92%. Just running into Brady's moves. You know, and also a lot of this comes down to the float game. Uh, a lot of people feel that the peak that's floating higher has a bit more advantage in terms of just manipulating the hitboxes and covering angles. So. Yes, you wouldn't want to get caught by Peach's forward area. Ford Ariel has a lot of range in the front and also a little bit down and in front of Peach. Right. And actually a good use of the power saw dropping low, but finally closing on that stock. Yep, with a nice forward throw, he gets the star KO off of that one. And here we go. Once again, Brady doing a good job of just spacing those aerials and catching in a down smash at the right times. Ooh, and now it's a game of chicken between the two. Both of them throwing out jabs kind of recklessly, knowing the other one can crouch cancel, draw a down smash, and basically do a ton of damage really quickly. Yeah, I was actually really scared when I saw Brady hold down because Skeeter could have easily got maybe 50 to 60 damage with a solid crouch cancel down smash. Well, good job to Brady. Take a game one. Yep. All right, so let's see the, uh, what adjustment Skeeter is going to have to make. Either being a little more patient, trying to see if he can wait out Brady. Instead of just rushing into Brady and taking all those hits for free. You see Brady take it, tossing on preemptive moves yeah. and just Skeeter jumping into the Brady. taking a lot of damage. All right, here we go. Game two in Pokemon Stadium. I'm guessing Skeeter probably has a bit of uh, nerves playing on a huge stage like this. But he has to be a bit more conservative. I always talk about players playing on one, others playing on two. He's rushing extremely aggressive, which I like to do personally. But you have to know when to do it. He's just often playing on one. He has to mix his timings. And and he's, and he's I think to... right now, yeah, Skeeter's probably hurt us, dude. He's doing a good job now. Quite even. See, you, you can no you notice he's short hopping backwards, activating his float, and then tossing out a forward aerial, a retreating one, just to keep Brady out. Yep, just keeping him out, kind of zoning him a bit with his normals. Yes, yeah. good turnip by oh, Skeeter. But, oh, oh, my oh, gosh, oh, 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 nice! And he gets the ba bomb First blood to Skeeter. Wow. And, and look at that, immediately Brady responding with a quick nair to shield, one of Peach's best was, um, get off of me moves when Peach is blocking. Yep, especially if your opponent's going to have a lot of lag after uh, an approach. So in that case, I think it was after a full cancel area, which probably was not the most comfortable time to do it, mm -hmm. but it worked anyway. There you go again. The patience being exhibited by Skeeter. Nice grab. Goes for the fourth throw. Interesting, yeah. expecting the uh, missed tech there. And if I'm Brady right now, you're a Peach, you know this. Do not jump on a platform against Peach. You are begging to get into a down smash like we see there, only with a lot more damage. Yes. Okay, here we go. More patience between the two. Fair, okay, right there, that was a really bad decision. You wouldn't want to jump into Peach when Peach is on the platform. Yep, just like I said a couple seconds ago, you're jumping into a down smash. So you know what's coming. So much damage. It's usually better to attack a Peach that is already doing a down smash from above. And you, everyone seems to forget, you don't have to go directly. You can run around. There's a lot of movement options in this game. You don't have to go directly. Exactly. 
take, you know, a shortcut or go around the long way. Wow. Sometimes you have to get your Robert Frost off and travel, you know, pass left and trade, take it. Whoa! Okay, so Skeeter's showing off some technical prowess with that float cancel Nair. Out of shield, if I recall. And Very that nice. time, opting for the Parasol, which a lot of uh, Peach players probably would go for in this matchup. Uh, just because if, if you're dealing with uh, the float cancel aerials, it's a bit safer in terms of how quickly it comes out. Yeah. But both of them are pretty confident with Nair, so... Yep, and the best thing about those flow cancel nares when you do them out of shield, you can immediately get back on. Oh my goodness, he must Don't have held down. down. Don't hold down. Please, Skeeter. But yeah. You're only holding yourself down. <laughs> nice combos by Brady. He held down that time, but only two hits, so he had to press the mark to get out of there. Uh. Nice try to avoid those turnips. Oh, it looked like Skeeter was almost in a position to get that aerial. Good job. I like that up air. So sending Peach straight into the sky with that star KO. One stock each. And especially positioning wise from that top platform on the rock transformation, it's a good choice. Oh man, Skeeter trying to put something together here. He's not too far off. He's racking percentage pretty quickly, but again, you know, we're not seeing too much dash dance here and there. He's not baiting. He's just. He's He's, he's just running in. Right? Yeah, he's going straight in. It doesn't go well for him to keep doing it. Yeah, he needs to be careful. Right there, Brady just waited for him to try to approach and got him with a down smash. That was a miss space and air approach. Ooh, okay, you can see, yeah, Brady, right there, Brady just, he went into let me just wall this guy out mode. I'm not going to go in. I noticed that Skeeter's just trying to, he's trying to get more hits. He wants to get the second game because he's already down one.